Good morning for our third day in Nusadua. Uh, rough morning this morning. We I went for a workout and then we had breakfast and now we're laying by the pool. Long day. Today we're gonna do a little market shopping though I think in the area uh, and then check out the beach a little bit as well but we're just basically resting my ear because we're gonna do some to sightseeing in the next couple days, but outside of that, stomach. and Katie's stomach, yeah, her stomach's been really bad. So we're uh, just taking it easy right now, getting ready to head home, but just trying to enjoy a little relaxing before we head home, which is nice because we've been so busy all trip. So it's kind of nice to have some downtime. Just soaking up the pool here in the sun. Pool scene here is pretty nice. It's literally just been like sitting every day, just get a little bit of sun, hop in the pool, get some cool off. I filmed Katie in a bathing suit, but she doesn't allow me to. So I'm censoring it. <laughs> Here's our beautiful beachfront. Katie's head. Uh, and the beach is nice, it's nice and quiet. So you can spend as much time out here and you're not going to be mobbed by people. You can see the beach is really quiet, which is nice. It's funny because we picked a spot that was, oh, we can't win. We picked a spot that had a beachfront and we barely even really been beachfront. <laughs> We've been in the pool most of the time, but it's oh, it's just so nice here. Uh, just trying to soak up that last bits of sun, I think, before we head home. I keep saying that, but that's literally what we're doing, which is really nice because we never really relax on trips, so this is nice to be able to have some downtime. Inevitably, I'm still working and, do, and working out, but baby steps. We're adventuring, adventuring off of the grounds of our resort. I am on ground pole still scared. Yeah, Katie just wants to go back and nap. We're going out, normally it's not this busy, but it's pretty busy today. Uh, it's coming up to the weekend. We're going out to the to some restaurants and massage uh, places and like a market just outside of the new Sadua sort of resort, resort area. So we're gonna do a little bit of market Closer. shopping. We'll show you the markets. It's interesting Teach you about in the market yeah. habits. It's interesting in here because anyone that's doing construction, they like cover them in like a tarp. And it's like a beautiful picture on it. So I think it's very meant to be like... It's very prestigious, like fancy. Yeah, type thing. Yeah, and it feels, it's funny walking off the, because you don't see anyone else just walking out here. It's like people are like transferred by a car to where they want to go. So it's nice staying at the resort, but <laughs> Both of us are kind of like, oh, let's just go for a walk. Let's go check out a part of Bali that's not a resort. Venturing out of the resort, here we go. This is the entry gate. And there's a security office up here for foot traffic with a very serious security guard on duty. Right there. Don't hurt us, officer. There's literally no security guard, but hey, all good. So pretty much the end of our trip we're coming up to is we're trying to get a couple of massages in now. So we're at the Dandelion Spa, um, which is just off the resort and it's a fraction of the cost. The massage was a success. We were both relaxed and oily and shopping and I ran out of money so we couldn't buy the statue. So now we have to go get money exchanged so I can buy a statue. And I'm having beef rendang with mee goreng and Katie's having soup. <laughs> Her tum tum's not feeling so great. But this man's tum tum. I think it's feeling great. He looks like he's having a great time. We just finished having dinner at Raha Bali. I'm not really sure if it's Raha or not, but Raha Bali. Food is really great. It's the number one restaurant in Nusa Dua. According to um, TripAdvisor. According to TripAdvisor, sorry. Um, the food, yeah, it was, the food was really, really good. I had beef rendang and mee goreng, and it was amazing. I had um, an Indonesian version of chicken noodle soup. My only my only beef with it is that I felt like it was just like, uh, like beef. yeah, beef. I felt like it was like no gen, there's, there's not very much genuine service. Like, yeah, it's like very scripted, which I guess yeah. is fine. Yeah, and like they were just trying to upsell you on like this big tasting menu, which is great. We love tasting menus, but it was a lot, and Katie's not feeling 100%, so we opted not to. Let's go. Ah. Playing chicken. Um, and yeah, no, food was great. Service, kind of weird. I'd recommend going there though, just for the food side of things. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here. Or subscribe to our other channel over here.